we looked last time at the structure of uh, benzene and how um, we could uh, determine what that was. Today we're looking at the reactivity of benzene and how it actually reacts. So one of the things that we said last time was that you cannot get uh, bromine water um, to decolorize with benzene. And I just want to have a look at the uh, electrophilic addition reaction uh, that something like cyclohexene would do um, with bromine, which benzene, as we've learnt, doesn't. So, as you may remember, an electrophilic addition reaction works because the electrons in the double bond here are localised and they uh, polarise the uh, Br2 molecule so that we have a delta plus and a delta minus. And that means that the electrons in the double bond can attack the electrophile here, um, the Br2. And that means that this bond here breaks as well, which means that we end up with an intermediate. And the intermediate then reacts to form um, the product. The question is, why does benzene not react in the same way? Uh, why does it not form an intermediate and then add the uh, bromine across the double bonds? To answer that question, I'm going to look at what benzene does do, and we'll look at uh, the mechanism for this later on. Uh, but what we have here is a Br plus um, electrophile. And it turns out that with this electrophile, actually benzene will react. It will, that's the first stage of um, this mechanism, benzene will react with a Br plus electrophile, but it didn't react um, with the Br2 on its own. So if we can get the bromine electron deficient enough, then the benzene ring will react with it. And what that leads to is the idea of electron density. So electron density we can think of uh, like this. We have in cyclohexene, we have our pi bond um, above and below the plane of the molecule here, and we have two electrons in this pi bond. So we've got two electrons in this pi bond, and the pi bond is about uh, 0.134 nanometers um, in size, and we call that localized. There are two electrons in this small space, which means that it will polarise the Br2 molecule when it comes uh, near. There are enough electrons in this space to do that. There is enough repulsion. If we have fewer electrons in the space, or if we have a bigger space with the same amount of electrons, we will reduce the electron density. We will reduce the number of electrons um, in a certain um, space. So have a look at benzene, and with benzene we have, again, a pi system above and below the plane of the molecule, but this time each one of these bonds we find is 0 0.139 nanometers, which is a a little bit longer than um, the uh, CC double bond. But there's more to it than that, because actually these, these electrons that are delocalized, there are six of them. So actually, if you were to average out where the electrons are, you'd have one on each face. Now that's not really what happens, really, they are in constant motion. But if you were to average it out, you'd end up with one on each face. And therefore you'd have one electron in the sort of the same kind of area as you have two electrons over here. And that means that the electron density here is much, much lower than it is over here, because this is delocalized. So we have high electron density, which allows it to polarize molecules, and here we have lower electron density, which means that the benzene cannot actually cause that dipole to form in the first step of an addition reaction.